Hello there, this is Andy Notko, technology columnist of the Chicago Sun-Times and Chicago Grid, and today we are going to be walking through the process of using the Moto Maker tool to customize the colors on a Moto X phone. Uh, when you buy a phone at the AT&T store, they send you home with a card with a scratch-off section that has a redemption code on it instead of an actual piece of hardware. Uh, you just uh, hit the website, get right there, and uh, type in the redemption code, and that launches you off on a carnival of adventure. And here is the adventure. It's a really nice process. Uh, the web app is really, really nice. I'm running it in Chrome right now, but it'll run in any browser. Uh, and it takes a really complicated process of 200 and some odd different color combinations and tries to make it into as mentally non-frustrating and non-staticky a process as possible. Uh, you choose between a uh, about a couple a dozen and a half uh, front case colors. Uh, they're all organized by tone so that they're not quite so baffling. And the nice thing is that you can actually see the effects of the choices that you're making as you're making them. So you don't really have to go in with a game plan. It really is more like a game. You just get to play around with this until the phone that you're looking at is the phone that you'd like to be carrying around for the next two years while you're uh, suffering under a contract. So uh, front color, two boring co choices, white or black. Accent color, that's the uh, volume button, power button, and the circle around the lens. These are all uh, metallic colors. Uh, so it's a very, very manageable option. Also, I think they chose these colors very, very nicely that it's very, very easy to find nicely complementing colors. Uh, and also, you kind of really want to have a good look around at, at what it looks like from multiple angles. Uh, so it does allow you to do a like 180 degree rotation to see what it looks like. I never would have thought I would like a front, a white front face plate, but when I saw how nicely it contrasted at, at certain angles, then yeah, I was kind of sold with that. So uh, this <laughs> took me about 20 minutes to go through all these different options. I had a friend of mine who is a uh, colorist for DC Comics that was actually walking <laughs> uh, on, on on iChat as a, as a as a consult. We're swapping the screenshots to and fro. But this is what we wound up with, and I think it's pretty darn cool. You may disagree, but I'm not interested in hearing you disagree with me. Uh, next, you go on to more less interesting stuff. Uh, you can have uh, something laser etched onto the back there. Not a whole lot of room there. Uh, you can have a witty, witty saying or a name or an email address, but not all three and not even two. So you've got to really kind of choose that advisedly. Uh, you will have other options for customization. So if you can only go with one of those, that's fine. Uh, unfortunately, right now, here's an opportunity for Moto to sell you more stuff, uh, a case, headphones, uh, all kinds of accessories that you may or may not want. They've already gotten $200 out of you. Um, but uh, at this point, here's the, the hero shot of what you've made. Uh, and that's you still, at any point in this process, by the way, you can go back and keep changing things. So it's not like it's step one, step two, step three. Uh, once you get past, though, that uh, now you're looking at uh, power on options. So just a little message or something that will show whenever time, whenever this thing boots up. Uh, for instance, okay, if you're egotistic, you'll put your name there. Maybe you would be more useful to have your email address so that if this thing gets lost and an honest person finds it, they will, they will try to get it back to you. That's every time it boots up. Uh, you can have wallpaper pre-installed, ready to go. I'm kind of surprised that they limit you to a bunch of canned wallpapers instead of letting you upload one. Since this is all about making your phone your own, you think that you let they let you do that. Maybe there's a you know there's a porn reason why they won't won't let you just upload arbitrary things. But a cool thing is that you can pre-set it, you can pre-link it to your Google account so that when you take it out of the box, it's pretty much ready to go. I don't believe it will be pre-configured with all of your apps and all of your data and stuff like that, but that's one less thing to have to configure. Uh, and now we're all done. Uh, but it has one more interesting, nice trick up its sleeve. This is a good opportunity to teach you about some of the features of this new phone. Now they promise, or excuse me, their, their goal is to ship it to you and get it to you within four days of placing this order, but that's some time to have you watch some videos and learn about how this thing goes around. So. Very, very cool process. Lots of different customiz customization options. It makes your phone really your own. And the thing is reliable, the, the, this tool. I was waiting for it to crash four or five times, but that just didn't happen. So very well thought and very, very consistent with how well thought this thing is in general. Thanks a lot for listening. I'm Andy Anotko.